The ISTD pillar is a lot like a traditional computer science curriculum, but with an emphasis on how computer-controlled systems interact with the world around them. We won't concentrate as much on how computers themselves are designed and built. Instead, we'll concentrate on what you can do in computers, how they can be used to control other physical systems, and how those systems can be designed to interact effectively with people. We'll have advanced courses on user interface design, databases, and machine learning, and many opportunities for projects where students apply techniques they've learned to applications in a lot of areas, including robotics, computer graphics, energy-efficient systems, and healthcare. Our students will have much more experience with the design and implementation of open-ended projects. They will have learned how to brainstorm many possible solutions to a problem, how to evaluate their strengths and weaknesses, how to select one to implement, and how to carry the implementation through testing to get a successful solution. Most students in most universities are trained to solve narrow technical problems in which there are very few choices to be made in the approach or substance of the solution. Engineering and design in real life isn't like that. The problems that come up have not been carefully selected to have a nice solution. They're interesting and messy and hard to characterize. Our students will face such problems throughout their education and be very well trained to address them professionally. ISTD is great training for all kinds of jobs in the software industry, including software design and system architecture. Our students will also be well prepared to work in other engineering disciplines like energy and health and automotive systems, which are at the interface of computers and software to the other parts of the system. In addition, students with ISTD training are also typically in high demand in a variety of non-engineering jobs, like management consulting and financial training, because of the development of their analytical and problem-solving abilities during their education. The details of computer hardware and software engineering practice change at an incredible pace, and our students will have to be agile and quick to learn dramatically new things throughout their careers. So the most useful things we will teach are basic principles of design based on clarity, simplicity, composition, and abstraction, and the application of those principles to real-world systems. Our students will learn to learn, to see the essence of a problem and the affordances of a new tool, and to quickly find the best ways of applying novel tools to solve brand new problems.